Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's discuss how to create courses and content in Odo 15 e-learning module. An analysis of created courses is visible here in this e-learning overview. We can see the details such as duration, number of views, number of content, number of attendees and number of finished courses. To get the website view, you can click on the view course icon and this will direct us to the website page. Additionally, we can click on the three dots to get the features like delete, edit, lessons, contact, attendees, etc. We can generate a new course by clicking on the create icon. So here in this window, we can provide the details. First here, we can enter the course title. And then here we can provide the tags. In the end, we can view several tabs such as content, description, options and karma. We can create content for a course using the content tab. By clicking on the add a section button, a new space will appear. Here we can add the section for your course. By clicking on the add content option, we will direct to a new window. In the create content window, we can enter the content title and the tags. Here we can provide the tags. It is possible to add multiple tags here. Inside the document tab, we can apply the type as document, infographic, web page, presentation, video, quiz, certification, etc. Based on the properties of a document, a type will generate automatically. Here we can provide the responsible person in the uploaded by option field. The estimated completion time for a slide is added in the duration option. By activating the allow preview option, anyone can access your course. The user did not want to join the channel to access the course content. Moreover, it is possible to attach the course's content by clicking on the upload your file option. And then the user can download the slide content by enabling the allow downloaded option. We can add the description inside the description tab. So here we can provide the description. In the additional resource tab, we can enter the link and the title below the external links by clicking on the add a line button. After that, we can add the course name and the upload your file inside the resource heading using the add a line icon. In the quiz tab, we can add the questions for the audience using the add a line button and can set the rewards for the number of attempt. So here we can see the uh, number of attempt and the rewards. Here in the question section, we can provide the question. So by clicking on the add a line, a pop-up window will appear. Here we can provide the question name. Here we can provide the answers. And here we can enable the correct answer as is correct. 
and here we have the comment option so you can provide the comment according to the answers now we can save this likewise we can add more questions here in the statistic tab we can see the number of views from the public member comments in this tab so we can press on the save and close button a certification can apply using the add certification button so while clicking it we will direct to a new window here we can provide the content title and the text Here we can provide the tags. In the document tab, we can see a certification option and can choose the company from the list. Then you can put your course type as certification and click on the save icon. All other options are the same as we discussed before in the new content creation window. We can add the information about the course inside the description tab of the new course window. So here we can provide the description. In the options tab, we can add details regarding the course, display, access right and the communication. We can select the responsible person and the website from the course option. The enroll policy in the access right can be chosen as public on invitation and on payment. By choosing the on invitation, a new option of enroll message is visible at the end to assess the message about enrollment for processing for responsible conduct. Allow rating option enabling users to review courses like content and more post comments. We can select the forum from the drop down menu. And then we can choose the new content email for email attendees once new content is published. Once the course is completed, attendees receive a completion email and you can select it from the drop down menu. We can select the display as training or documentation and visibility as public and members only. After selecting the documentation, the prom promoted content will appear and it include the latest published, most voted, most viewed, specific and none. The last created slide is latest published and most voted slides comes under the most voted section. Moreover, the slide viewed by prominent people is depicted the most viewed section. None means absence of slide and the specific choose a slide to appear. We can add the rewards for review or finish the course. Enter the access rights such as add comment, vote and add review in the karma tab. Karma needed to add a review for the course using the add review and comment on the course slide using the add comment option. After applying all details, we can click on the save icon. The created course is visible here in the e-learning overview of the dashboard. The e-learning window is visible in the list view consisting of details such as website, responsible person, name, course type, visibility, enroll policy, etc. The reports of courses are viewable from the reporting tab. In the list view of the courses window, we can see the main visit number of visit, duration, attendees count, words, and the rating average. The graph view of the course contain course details on the x-axis and the number of visits in the y-axis. By clicking on the measures icon, you can apply count relating to the content, comment, review, duration, sequence, and more on graphical representation. 
Now we can go to the courses menu and choose the content option. Here we can see the type, title, duration and use of each content with the particular image in the Kanban view of the content window. The vast information of content is visible by clicking on the title. In the list format of the content window, we can see the title, website type, course, section, publish date, website views, public views, views and the duration of each content. So to create a new content, we can click on the create icon. So it is the same step we said before at the beginning of course creation. The analysis of created content is depicted in the content menu in the reporting tab. Here in the graph view of the content window, we can see courses information on the x-axis and the views on the y-axis. It is possible to apply counts such as like number of certification, videos, website, slides and more using the measures button. The list view of content window consists of details such as title, course, type, section, publish date, website, public views, duration, etc. We can view the detailed information by clicking on the specific content title. In the pivot view of the content window, we can see the total views per course and we can add a custom group for each course as per the category course and the type. The Odoo 15 e-learning module helps to implement various courses with definite tools. The users can enroll and complete the courses within less time from any location. It is possible to add multiple lessons inside each course and set karma points as per rules. We can evaluate students' progress through question pools, attempt limit and quizzes. Odoo e-learning module enables you to engage with the community with the comments, forums and the email. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.